Boy. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? The world serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Kvegia. to us and it hears you as well don't be shy now perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Whoa, he disappeared. Not be distracted.
So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. So, what other stories have you got? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted the victory. We will continue another time. Good. Treasures from all different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like, maybe, a whetstone? Must have gotten here first. Follow me.
Boy, over here. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe Looks like the Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. magical treasure and no what stuff. Keep your expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. Expecting them. Exactly. in this one, and the stupid bird statue. And useful resources, the main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Sindri's whetstone.
a good feeling about this next one. Maybe we'll even find the whetstone. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. ready for them this time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? 
We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Mm, guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. betray him like that? Kill his own father? All this pressure? Seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Yes.
What's that up there? Follow me, Atreus. You, uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone, perchance. We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the reaver's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the... What happened when the horse made a deal with the hunter? He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. I wish mom were here. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Kavikia.
I don't believe it. Oh, alive. Another spirit. Yes, another spirit. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? A desolation child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. There is a lot to see here. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose balloons. World Serpent even knows part of his body's lying over there. Got any more short and purposeful stories from it? Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. 
They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the son jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Vague, yeah. to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well... We can't expect them all to know something useful.
Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. Want to try another story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. another story? Very well. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. You should say, sure, I'll walk forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it. This is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Kvekia. came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. 
I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. Good find. 